not all sequels are kick-ass. Kick-Ass 2 sees the title character, Hit Girl, and others teaming up to defeat Mother... you know what. To be honest, I was not a fan of the first one. Nick Cage was a badass, but the story was bland and the violence was monotonous. It wasn't fun to watch. But here? Same thing. No actor or actress in this film looks like they really want to be there. The mask covers up their true intentions. Payday. Aaron Johnson is just plain bored as a guest and provides a voiceover narration that's much like Peter Parker and Spider-Man and you forget it even exists until he speaks up again. Chloe Grace Moretz is really the only interesting person in this movie and has the biggest and also like the only character arc in this movie. She really just needs her own movie because, let's be honest here, if you see this, will you see it for her or for kick -Ass? That's what I thought. Jim Carrey as Colonel Stars and Stripes was a welcome addition, but he was wasted. Had his character been in this movie longer, he would have made it decent. Decent. The running time really only serves to prolong the endless cursing and sexual innuendos, which are malicious and about as useful as a bug on your windshield. This movie overall is a lot like that box that Jim Carrey handles in the beginning of that Ace Ventura movie. It started out as an idea, a potentially good idea, but as it went down the road of development, it got abused really bad. And so when it arrived at the door, it was pointless and unwelcome. Kick-Ass 2 gets 2 out of 5 stars. Not that you need to, because you don't, but if you really want to see this, like if you just have to see this movie, rent it. Thank you very much for your time. Have an awesome day.